I do drink and drive. Um, I probably drink and drive over 10,000 times. In a typical day, I will drink vodka. Uh, this is actually my second bottle. I already had one of these today. Uh, so I get my alcohol. Uh, very rarely do I have money, so I have to steal it. I'm scared because I do have another DUI coming up and I have two in a different state. I could go away for a while and I'm not made for prison. You said you're not made for prison, but you get caught stealing or you kill somebody or injure somebody driving drunk, you're going to jail. Right, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, that's why I'm here. Do you own a car? I used to own a car, I totaled it. I hit the guardrail and I flipped over it. Renee's daughter, Megan, and her best friend, Lisa, were driving home from babysitting at 2.30 in the morning. Eric was also on the road. He was just leaving a beach bar after a night of drinking when he hit a car, sending them off the road and into a tree. Megan and Lisa died on impact. Since Megan and Lisa died, our lives have been irreversibly changed. They died in a senseless tragedy caused by someone's choice to drink and drive. After all these years, I still ask why. No parent should ever have to bury their child. It's just not natural. It's not the way that life was intended to be. Personally, I've had to deal with anger that turned into rage. We want everyone to know that drinking and driving is a horrible combination and is never the right choice. Well, Eric received two DUI manslaughter charges and was sentenced to 22 years in prison. Now, both Eric and Renee are here today. And you heard me right. Eric is here today. He's out of prison. And mom, Renee, is here. Um, Renee, hey, Dr. thank Brown. you for being here. Thank um, you. you know the pain that Don and Katie are, are, are going through. Uh, it, it has to sting to hear the arrogance, the, the dismissiveness of someone that says, I, I, I drive drunk thousands of times. Uh, what's your reaction when you hear that, having suffered the loss that you have? It makes me wonder why you don't get help. I mean, I know you've got help in place, but why you don't check yourself into a place um, I have. to get help? How long were you there? Uh, I've been to four different treatment centers. How long was your stay? 35 days. See, I think maybe you need a year long enough to but, really... Yeah, it's interesting. Your response was, I have. I have. That was the direct question she asked me. Yeah, I understand that, but you don't understand that her comment is you get help until. You don't get help once, twice, three times, four times, 35 days, 45 days, 90 days. You get help until you stop being out of control. I've never been offered that opportunity. They, they send you out, especially if you have insurance after 30 days. So you're they, a victim here. No, I'm not a victim. I'm telling you the reality of the situation is they kick you out after 30 days if you don't have proper insurance. There are places, there's a place that I work with that's a year-long oh. program, three-year-long program. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.